There's our first view of uh, the approaching Soyuz vehicle, the unpiloted MS-14. The fly around uh, of the International Space Station is now underway. Having just begun, this is, a, a, this is an operation that will take just a few minutes with the range now about 400 meters between Soyuz and the station. The fly around angle of 67.6 .6 degrees to precisely align the forward docking port on the Soyuz with the Poisk module docking port. The two Russian cosmonauts on the station, uh, Alexei Ovchinin and Alexander Skvortsov, uh, in the Zvezda service module monitoring the approach of Soyuz at the ready in the event uh, a problem would, uh, would occur to the uh, core's automated rendezvous system. Uh, they could issue a command to abort this approach. However, uh, as you see, the engine firings, the small thrusters on the Soyuz uh, continuing to fine tune the fly around path of uh, the Soyuz vehicle. Everything continues to go as planned. Flying over uh, northern Algeria, about to cross uh, the Mediterranean. Great view of the Soyuz MS-14 that launched two days ago from the Baikonur Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. We're about 16 minutes away from docking. It's not, it's fine now. Yeah, we're getting uh, out of Eclipse, so we're getting some uh, solar illumination, so we should be good for now. 200 meters is the range, zero one is the rate. 20801. Station visual is steady, everything appears nominal. Copy. Soyuz and the International Space Station uh, about to cross Italy and then southern Europe on this uh, orbit of the Earth. A good view of uh, the engine firings uh, on the Soyuz vehicle, uh, punctuating uh, its completion of the fly around to basically put the brakes on that will uh, enable the Russian flight controllers to assess its position relative to the Poisk module docking port. AOS on the Russian ground site. So AGC is not available until we get there, so. Thank you, sir, Alexander copies. Sorry, did I just call you Alexei? I meant Alexander. Alexander, why don't you let us know as soon as you uh, see some improvements on the image quality? Illumination is perfect right now, sir. I think I think this should be uh, sufficient as far as the AGC uh, manipulations. All right, sounds good. Let's just leave it as is. Yeah, it's plenty good. Good visibility. Should be good to go. Confirming a signal acquisition. Let me grab that range ruler. The onboard computers uh, testing the flying characteristics of the Soyuz MS-14. Again, all part of the uh, flight test objectives for this unpiloted vehicle as we stand by for the initiation of final approach. With final approach having been initiated, uh, the Soyuz less than 100 meters away, closing at a rate of just under a half a meter per second. The Poisk module docking port is uh, just uh, to the left and just above the center of this cross-haired view from the external engineering camera. The International Space Station crossing the border between Russia and Kazakhstan and two squares from the service module.
Copy, Alexander. Okay, just give it off call. We're in station keeping again. Flying over northern China near the border with Mongolia, the Soyuz MS-14 uh, continues uh, to gather data automatically for its onboard computers from its core's automated rendezvous system. As we stand by uh, for the Russian flight controllers uh, to, to determine uh, where we are at with the Soyuz MS-14, and whether or not final approach will be initiated for its automated docking to the Poisk module. TS-47 has been sent. Copy. Station Houston on two, Soyuz is aborting. Hey, Alexander. Go ahead. This is Vladimir. Uh, it's in the middle of a, an abort right now. Are you seeing? We're trying to uh, get a visual on the spacecraft. We can't see it. It appears to be backing away. At least that's the impression we're getting. Okay, copy, sir, but we get no visual. This is Mission Control Houston. As you heard, uh, spacecraft communicator Tamara York here in Mission Control informing the crew on board the station that the approach of the uh, Soyuz MS-14 to the International Space Station has been aborted. The uh, command issued by uh, the cosmonauts and the Zvezda service module, Soyuz now backing away to a safe distance from the station to allow Russian flight controllers to assess uh, the next course of action, this occurring after the Soyuz encountered an issue of unspecified origin uh, with its core's automated rendezvous system uh, uh, unable to lock on to the target on the Poisk module docking port of the International Space Station. It's in the LVLH. The abort uh, command uh, from the station. The station commander Alexei Ovchinin issued at 12.36 a.m. Central Time. 40 meters below the station. This is Mission Control Houston. The uh, Soyuz MS-14 unpiloted spacecraft in the International Space Station flying uh, to the northeast of the coast of Australia. The uh, Soyuz uh, aborted its approach. Actually, it was the cosmonauts on board the station that issued a command to the Soyuz to abort its approach some uh, 27 minutes ago after uh, the Soyuz had problems locking its core's automated rendezvous system signal onto the Poisk docking port on the space-facing side of the Russian segment of the station. The decision has been made by Russian flight controllers not to attempt another rendezvous tonight. It is unclear as to what the next uh, course of action will be as uh, the Russian flight control team assesses what may have caused a problem with the Corps' automated rendezvous system. But the Soyuz now has backed away to a safe distance from the International Space Station. At no time was the crew in any danger. This was pre-planned without a backup Toru system in place. 24-hour safe trajectory. It's moving at one meter per second, and it is outside the approach ellipsoid. 
Thanks, that's all good info. Spacecraft communicator Tamara York uh, informing Luca Parmitano aboard the International Space Station that the Soyuz that you see here in this image uh, has exited the neighborhood of the International Space Station and is on a safe trajectory, basically a racetrack trajectory for 24 hours, that if uh, the Russian flight control team solves the issue as to what caused the problem with the core system, could attempt a reapproach uh, in 24 hours, but that has not yet been determined.